friends in this video we are going to study the advantages of digital storage oscilloscope also known as dso so let us start with our topic We know that the digital storage oscilloscope, it is an instrument which gives us the digital copy of a waveform and then it is going to store that waveform in the digital memory so that digital signal processing techniques can be done on it. So it is, uh, we can say that a digital storage oscilloscope, it is a type of oscilloscope that is the CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope, but it is having the additional features like it can store the digital signal and it can give us the digital form of the signal to us okay so here we are going to study some of the advantages of this digital storage oscilloscope over the conventional cathode ray oscilloscope first advantage is that The digital storage oscilloscope or DSO, it is very easy to operate and also it has more capability than the conventional CRO because it is dealing with the digital signal so its processing speed is very high. It is going to display the waveform within few seconds as uh, in respect to the analog oscilloscopes. So this digital storage oscilloscope, it is very easy to operate and also it has more capability capability second because these digital storage oscilloscopes they have the storage capability so we can say that dso storage time it can store the waveform of the signal for an infinite period until it is deleted from the digital memory so if we want that for future use if we want to do some processing over that signal so we can use it okay so storage time for the dso is infinite it can be stored for a long period of time until it is deleted from the memory Now in the DSO there is display flexibility because in the DSO we have the features through which we can magnify the display on the screen. So if we want to analyze the minute time instances of that signal we can do that with the help of the DSO. So display flexibility is available if we want to change the excess or we want to change the magnitude of the signal. If we want to analyze the minute time intervals or time instance, instance of that signal, we can do in the DSO. Now in DSO, the number of traces that can be stored and recalled they depends on the size of the memory. If the memory size is very large, so large number of signals can be stored in it. The number of traces they can be stored, more number of traces can be stored in the memory of the DSO. So the storage capacity of the memory, it depends, uh, it is going to decide that how many number of traces can be stored in it, okay? Or stored means how many number of traces we can analyze in the DSO. In DSO, the cursor measurement is possible. 
so that is also an advantage of the dso which is not present in the conventional analog oscilloscopes Now in the DSO, the characters which are displayed on the screen along with the waveform, they can indicate the waveform informations like the maximum and the minimum frequency, the amplitude, the time interval, the pulse width, the rise time, fall time of the signal, all can be indicated. All these char uh, characteristics of the waveform, they will be indicated along with the waveform signal on the display screen. So, in the analog uh, CROs, we see that only the waveform is displayed on the signal. If we want to measure the amplitude and time interval, we have to do separate measurements for that. But in the DSO, because the analog signal along with the digital values are displayed, so we can directly read the characteristics of the waveform through the display screen and these characteristics include the maximum and the minimum frequency, amplitude, time interval, pulse width etc. So here the characters are not only displayed uh, with the uh, along with the waveform but also the waveform characteristics are displayed. Now in the conventional CROs we have the facility that only the XY plot or two dimensional graphs of the electronic signals can be obtained but in the DSO we can obtain the three dimensional graph also we can get a 3D figure also so not only the XY plots but also the BH curve PV diagrams they can also be displayed on the screen of the DSO. So not only the 2D but also the 3D figure of the waveform can be obtained. In the DSO, we have a special feature which is called the pre-triggering. So, with the help of this feature, we can view the uh, waveform before the triggering pulse is given to the uh, oscilloscope. Okay, so the waveform is displayed. Uh, we can, uh, this DSO is going to display the waveform before the triggering pulse is given. So, that is the special feature called the pre trigger is present in the DSO, whereas it is not present in the analog oscilloscope. As in the digital storage oscilloscopes, the digital copy of the waveform is stored in the digital memory. So if we want that, we want to analyze the signal after some time, that is possible in the DSO. So here keeping the records is possible because the waveform is stored in the memory and which includes translating the raw data into the finished information. Example computing parameters of a captured signal like RMS value, energy stored etc. So suppose that we are having a waveform of a signal and that waveform is stored in the digital memory. Now if we want that we want to calculate the RMS value of the signal or if we want to find 
find out the energy stored in that signal for a particular period of time. So we are going to retrieve that signal from the digital memory and we are going to process that signal and get the information from it. So here like translations can be done like translating the raw data which is our waveform into the finished information like the value of the parameters like RMS value, energy stored etc. So because records we can keep the record of the signal in the DSOs so this feature is also available in the DSO digital storage oscilloscope. So that becomes the it that becomes an advantage of DSO. So here in this video we studied some of the advantages of the digital storage oscilloscope which is also known as DSO. So I hope that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.